Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii, I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Road Ventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we're back with Tyler. So today's is a bait day, so we're gonna run outside and pretty much just go get some bait because like you know from the other video, if you haven't seen that video, the Mai Mai Day, I'll put the link in the bio, but he likes to use a pillow for bait, so either today's a bait run day. I'm gonna come and grab bait, so we're gonna go out to the honey hole and catch the bait. We're on the north shore today, it's a little early, like what, 6 30 in the morning? About 6 30, 6 o'clock, catch the bait, and we'll see what happens. Maybe a fast video. I love the force. Uh, I'm actually gonna fly up to the Big Island. Um, I actually flew to the Big Island uh, a day before this video was filmed, right here. So I'll post that video. Up, uh, actually, no, I'll post that video probably on uh, Sunday or so. But I flew to Big Island to go check out my boat, and my boat is pretty much the same setup as Tyler's. A lot of the stuff I did on my boat is compared to Tyler's boat. Same type of boat, 27 force. So it should be pretty similar. And you'll see that in tomorrow's video. Uh, so it should be done in about another month, I think. So I'm about there. So we should be on that suit that boat very soon. After I get it though, I gotta I gotta fit everything. I gotta put my outriggers, I gotta put my electronics, I gotta do everything to it. And the first trip I'll make with that boat is I'm gonna drive back from Big Island all the way to Oahu. So that might be like a two video kind of two video kind of trip. It's gonna take me a few days to get back to Oahu from Big Island. I'll probably stop Lahaina for a night. Holy crap, that's a kayaker? That guy's way down outside. Please kayaker! Kayaker right there. Dude, this guy's way down. He's about three miles offshore. Tyler! Look how kayaker is! Look! Right on your left! Yeah, kayaker. That's a warrior right there. Another boat going out in the morning. Yeah, I love the stability of the bigger forts. These things are so stable. That sun is cracking. That beautiful North Shore sunrise. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's awesome. It's all the world famous surf spots all over here. The best surf spots in the world, right here. Almost there. We're almost over the line. A couple of the guys over there catching berry now. But we're gonna see. Tyler needs to load them up, he said today. So hopefully they cooperate. We'll see. This time that is a lot easier than Wine Ice Time. Wine Ice Time is a little more difficult, and there's a few reasons why. But uh, why not say it's definitely a lot more difficult to catch bait. So all I want to do is line range. Can you drive? So we're stuck up here driving. My rig's already made, so I'm about five miles offshore right now. Five miles offshore, and I don't think we're that deep. I think over here is maybe like 150 fathoms, maybe 200 fathoms. Not that deep over here. Everybody's out here catching bait. All the charter boat guys out here catching bait. So we're going to drop some uh, Capanilla bloodworms down. Links in my bio, you can get these off his website. It also gives us a 5% discount code RAW. You get 5% off. <laughs> For real? I got though. Swing it this way. Let me get off before you fuck shark gets it. Small one though, not that for big. Three. Oh. Two. Where are you trying on Tyler? Small ones. These are the best to make lure heads with right here, that size. 
University of Hawaii. It's a big pal. Tari, not the boy. There you go. Oh. How close do you have to go to it? Try and touch it. <laughs> We're trying to catch bait. There's sharks all around the boat. That's a big shark. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta hurry up. This is gonna be a full pool. Oh, oh. Tyler, what else is over here? Do they have other stuff over here besides? Huh? Yeah, but look what I get. Thought I get something big. Think so? Damn. Sharks are freaking brutal over here. Oh, what is that? It's a shark. <laughs> Let me see it. Look how shiny those Campania lures are. Those blood runs in the water. There's just too much sharks over here. We gotta move. We're gonna try somewhere else. It's, it's too sharky over here today. There's only one way you can get that name. You have to catch bait first though. Your sticker. Somebody pointed out in the last video too. Yeah. He's a, he's a mass baiter. That's why the mine wise die. <laughs> oh, that's a dozer. That's a dozer. That's a real big one. This guy all secret quiet over here. I know that. Don't say nothing. Don't even say nothing and then turn off. That's a big one. That's the kind you want in the eye power right there, those big ones like that. Yeah, oh, that's the ones you want. I was thinking of so much vibration in the eye piles. Oh, right there, right there, I got, I got Tyler. <laughs> I got it. Bro. Yeah. Right. Oh, Papa has one too. Mine is one. It's a trumpet fish. That's a, that's oh, that's a big old belly. That right there is the kind for eye, right there. Oh, bro, that's a dozer. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, that's a dozer right there. You want to see something linked to your farm? I'll show you. Watch. Bring another farm. <laughs> How deep are we? Like 30 fathoms. Oh, oh that's a dozer. Dude, that's huge. I would love one of those right now on Porfish File. Oh, brah. You fine? Sorry, Tyler, Tyler, I heard it's good luck if you put them on your nipple. Dude, that's a talent. <laughs> you have a talent, Tyler. Don't let anybody tell you different. Years of experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got Tyler. They're close. Not even. Kahala. Dude, these, these buoy ones are so nice. Though. These look so nice in a fish tank. Oh my. It's Hamachi, Tyler. Hamachi. Yours might be bigger than mine, but I tell you, what, mine's a lot more prettier. Yours is prettier. <laughs> hey, that's harder to catch than this. Is that Hamachi? It is, yeah? No. That's just Kahala. Looks like a Hamachi, yeah? Look at the fins, how the fins are around too. That's called hollow though. Yeah. Sure, let's get a little hamachi. Yeah, just they have hamachis over here though. Oh, they want the red at the top. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a dozer. Oh my God. Dude. I want this kind of pellets. The wine eye size is what I want. Oh, he swallowed it too. Oh, that's a big one. Put it for your thumbnail. Put it for your thumbnail. I'm sure my camera's on. <laughs> no, you can't make that for YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> Yo, <dude. laughs> you look at the camera small. Oh my god, that's the thumbnail right there. That's the thumbnail right there. Oh. <laughs> Went to a new spot to look for bait. Tyler's trying to load up bait so when he goes next week he has Opelu, but as you can see, it's a pretty slow bite. Now you can tell he's a fisherman. He puts his drinks. 
That's a blood water. That's how you can tell he's a fisherman. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see some sharks over here, Tyler. I guarantee we'll see some sharks over here. Tyler, jump in. Dude, that thing is huge. Watch, you want to see the shark? Is that a tiger, Noah? Dude, that thing is huge. You want to touch it? I want to touch it. I'll touch it. So we went from catching a pelu because the pelu ain't biting to shark. Tyler wants to go to a petting sharks. What you gonna do? You drive back up by it? That's all mad us because we're gonna use this for catch. To mess with the sharks to get the shark up. So we get some footage for you guys. Sucker fish. <laughs> oh, he's on the bottom. Too far away. I gotta go back to the buoy. I think. Don't let me eat, Tyler. Though. Oh, you made the line long. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, can't see I can't see a shark though. He's over there. Yeah, let's go back up on a blue track. Oh, right there. He's coming. Look, he's coming right there. He's coming right there. The two of them right there. Oh, don't let him get it. He's going. Don't let him get it. 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 Let him get it. Oh, 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 my camera. <laughs> Watch you, come here. Yeah, come here. <laughs> yeah, Mia, just don't fall in. Oh, that big boy wants right here. Come on, Mia, come here, Mia. Look at the sharks. Just don't bite my camera. I would die. Oh. Oh, 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 my camera. You know, they feel like, I think they feel like the electronics from the camera, yeah. Dude, that guy almost beat my camera. This big boy wants it, though. Dude, that's a huge Galapagos. <laughs> Catching up, fellow messengers. Dude, that's a big shark. That was your chance. Was Watch it, come here. Stop. Right here. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, put the YouTube down. Look at this crap. Where are you gonna see this at? Oh, watch out for his little one. Watch out for his little one. It's a little oh, fast one. Oh, he's coming in hard. Whoa! Here he comes. God, that big boy. There's a bunch of them now, huh? Hell yeah. Sharks. Oh. <laughs> Mia, look, Mia, look, 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 look. Mia, look. I see them. Try to go back up again. Try to catch bait again, but we lost so much rigs to sharks today. It's not even funny. We keep using rigs. Tyler was like, ah, I'll jump in. I was like, did you jump in? <laughs> You're not being able to climb out. <laughs> I didn't catch no those or pelu, but this is my opelu. I'm going to show Tyler how to turn this into Nevetta. The there you go, Tyler. There you go. You can use mine, Tyler. Go ahead. It's fine. So Tyler's taking us to his Nevetta honey hole. So I got to fish on the, the opposite side of the land because we can't show the, the honey holes for these guys are. These are like a prize fish. Hopefully you can catch at least one. I had at least at least a couple hoggy. So in the better fishing, you want to fish a sandy bottom. So we're gonna go somewhere where it's a sandy bottom. Tyler knows a the spot. They lay in the bottom and they kind of just sit there. RG number four reason. I got my step a little different than Tyler. The Nabetas tend to hang out in the bottom in the sand. So we'll see. So I gotta set up with my lead, and then my hooks down below. I'll show Tyler what's up. You got? Why would you see something like that? Why would you be so mean? That's kind of, you like hoggy, that's generous. Oh, I got! No. <laughs> Bet you get corner crabs over here. I got. I got something. Fine, I got another better. Thank you for that in the beta. It's definitely fine like in the beta. Oh, you gotta. Oh, yeah. I kind of just jerked it. I saw the pole bounce a little bit. I just jerked it. Oh, mine just came off, I think. Mine just uh, come off. There's one in the beta I saw. No, you got it. Oh, no. It's a, yeah, it's You kind of stopped playing after you got off the bottom. Look at that. Oh, that's a dozer. So she said that. Oh, there you go. in the this is the best eats right here. Look at that. One's gonna be male, one's gonna be female, I think, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah, unfortunately, yours is a little bigger. I can't yeah. believe that. These ones, now when you grab these, you got to be very careful because these guys, oh, they'll bite you. They'll spin and bite you. Oh, it's going to be a bit tighter. You don't want your shirt tighter. Ah! He tried to bite me at the bit of the shirt! See, I told us why I don't want to touch the thing. You don't have a, a towel or something? These guys will always bite you. <laughs> Dude, what, what, are you scared to grab it now? I'm scared to grab it because I've been bit before. It's not fun. You got bit from this thing before? Yeah. Oh my God. It's spinning, bite you. Oh, this guy. That's it. I'm going to grab you on. Uh, bear hug your head once to get you. Got him. Where there's one, there's more. You know where you get corner crab, guaranteed. Oh, the sand flat is that big over here? Oh, yeah, I got two. Oh, oh. Yeah, you got two. Right? Oh, oh nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh, what the dozers. Nice ones. I was trying something new to catch my in a bed, I got a major tangle, so we're going back to the old style. Just a lead, Dang it, Nick, two baits. What did I do? He posed, she posed in the party trying to put my foot in the water. I just got scolded. Mm. He didn't put his foot in the water, though. He was too spanty. He didn't want to. <laughs> Tyler's making another drop. We'll see if he can turn this drop from zero to hero. I'm already in the lead. All I have to do is catch two because we didn't catch any. Uh -uh, I caught one. I caught the first one. caught one, and now he's out of the game. I have to give you a chance. I was like, how can I give Tyler a chance? I was like, you know what? There's only one way to give a Tyler a chance. Throw my pole in the water. I don't need this. You know what? Yeah. You dude, so bad, dude your your boat hates me. It makes me lose everything. I lost the I lost the the lure last time. Oh. You just decided to just throw your pole in the water I, so you have no absolute chance whatsoever. I think you're totally correct. I, I think you got me a lizard fish. I think you're totally correct. Oh, we need we need this video to get to like a million views so I can make my money back for the porn reel I lost. <laughs> that was totally worth it. Dude, how do you get the camera? You're biting too fast. Oh, he got a he got a good size one. Nice one. Tyler, how's that one? That's a good one. Wait, okay, see you, Tyler. Right? There you go. Selfish get bite. Lying down. Wow, that's a good size one. Yeah, nice one. These hoggies are really coming out of the sand, huh? Oh, that's a that's a dozer. There. Press it to look at the whole thing. That's a big one. That is what you call a nice, healthy nabeto. That's what you call dinner right there. I'm going to convert to spinners. You feel the eventual way you're holding it to, yeah? All right, so we're going to harbor. We just got done. It's about 11 o'clock. A good, fast day. Got a couple of pelu, but nabeto was the action. So good job, Tyler. Put us on a nabeto honey hole. So, uh... I'm gonna go home and I'll show you guys the catching cook with all of them the better Tyler caught. Caught one. Caught one. That's how you do it, buddy. Get it down. <laughs> Alright, everybody, here we go. So we're back at home. We're gonna clean up the better. <laughs> me and Tyler ended up getting about, I think maybe about 70 pieces, maybe 80 pieces. I forgot to take a picture of it before I left. But I got one Ziploc bag full. I was like, that's more enough for me. And he had to give his friends and stuff like that. So I was like, that's more enough for my family to eat. Yeah. So Tyler's the better king. So we're gonna clean those up. I'll show you how to clean them. Super simple ways to clean them. Very, very simple. You don't have to scale them. A lot of you guys catch them when you scale them. Don't scale them. You fry them straight. They're going to fry them up and you're going to get to this kid right here. Okay, so let's get to the cleaning part. Here we go. Here we go. Stay tuned and subscribe. So we got the nabetas right here. Uh, it's crazy is, you know, they kind of they kind of match the bottom. So like what Tyler saying, where these were is kind of more a silty area where the darker ones were. If you go other places, they're a lot bigger, but this is about the average size. They don't get really, really big. It's about kind of like the average size of them. So, 
One, two, two. That should be enough. We'll see the rest. So I got about a dozen. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got about 13. So like I said, there was a good haul. It was a completely expensive day for me. Super expensive day for me. I lost my reel, which is about 200 hours. I lost my pole, which is about 100 hours. So about a 300 hour outing for me. It's brutal. I dove in trying to get my reel and I think it started going out so fast. I take off my camera. I take off my camera, my mic and everything else. And my reel just started going out so fast. I dove down about, I'll tell you, 15 feet and I couldn't get to the damn thing. It started going faster and faster. I was like, oh, there's no way I'm getting this thing. You don't have to kill these guys. We'll just cut the head off. That's it. Super simple to clean, clean you guys. Cut the head off and put the guts out. And that's it. Pretty much all meat with a small center bone. These guys aren't super meaty, but I tell you what, they're extremely good eating. You pretty much will never find these in a market for sale in Hawaii because most people don't sell them when they catch them. You know what I mean? This is one of those things that only a fisherman get. So we got them all cut up. As you can see, I put two slits per slide. Just so the oil can get inside and cook it. But super, super, super pretty fish. Let's go in the backyard. And uh, you can either use oil for this, or like my dad's favorite way to do this. It's actually high, high heat butter and frying butter. With oil going, I wanted to get this guy about 325 or at 204 right now, so it's going to be a little bit longer. I don't have any high heat butter. I have oil, so I'll use the oil. But I have Mark polishing in the the back polish room. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll show you Mark polishing some lures for our, our drop, uh, which is coming up on Monday. Oh, wait. He's always polishing. I'll, sh I'll show you what he's doing. Oh, it's a little hot. We've been letting it going. We've been letting it go. We have to put the fish in. We have to put the fish in before it all burns. Oh. Probably one of the best ways to eat this fish. Fried or fried in butter, but extremely, extremely good. So let's get to frying all these fish and then um, we'll get into the house and we'll let Damien and Reagan enjoy it. I told you guys, we have to scale them. It's crazy about them better when you fry them. See all the scales? If you look close. All the little scales. They look almost like punko flakes, and like breadcrumbs. Like that scales right there. Yeah, it's all scales, okay? Yes, watch. Super crunchy. They're good. It's really like punko flakes. So if you're scaling a beta, you're doing it wrong. And I think so much people scale the beta when you don't need to, like, Literally, don't scale it. it. Literally, tastes like panko flakes. It's weird. So, see here. Don't scale your nabeta, okay? Let's get back to cooking the rest and when also we'll get to the kids and watch them devour it. Tell us how good you think it is once you eat it. So, how good is it? It's real good? So, you saw it. The kids like it. Alright, when they're there, guys, I will feed these monkeys. Make sure they don't eat any bones. So, thanks for watching. As always, tight lines, stay fishing. I will see you in the water. Underwater. Peace out. Peppa, bye. <laughs> I'll see you in the back. <laughs>